How has electricity consumption changed over time? Our grandparents, yes, used vacuums, fridges, and TVs. However, we now have phones, computers, Xboxes. We need electricity to accomplish almost every activity in our daily lives. It's not only the consumption pattern that has changed. What about electricity production? This chart shows the evolution of electricity production in the UK in the last 30 years. We can see that from the year 2000, renewable sources started to increase. The production of nuclear energy, on the other hand, decreased at that time. The production of electricity using fossil fuels, like oil, coal or natural gas, has decreased in the past six years. But how does electricity consumption vary across the week? As we can see in this graph showing real data from UK's electricity consumption during the second week of January 2014, the amount of energy that we use changes throughout the day. Why is that? The peaks in electricity consumption are due to our day-to-day -day habits. We all wake up at a similar time, switch on our kettles and take a shower before moving on to our daily routines. However, we spend much less energy at night when we are mostly happily asleep. In fact, these peaks of energy are a great headache for engineers, since production must meet demand at all times. And it turns out that having different types of energy sources helps them to manage these demand peaks. For instance, while nuclear energy production is steady, the energy production from wind farms is variable as it depends on the weather. Combined cycle gas turbines are used to produce enough energy to match up the difference between demand and production. You can see on Saturday that strong wind production meant that less than normal gas was used, but on Sunday and Monday morning, the situation was reversed. Until now we have been talking about electricity generation, but how does all this electricity get from the power station to our homes? Electricity is generated in power stations, and is transmitted to regional distribution networks at very high voltage through the national grid. The regional distribution network conducts electricity at lower voltages to homes and businesses. One important thing to note is that electricity is something produced far from where it is needed. Here is a map with UK's nuclear power stations. Nuclear power stations need to be by the sea in order to use seawater to cool down the reactors. However, some of the biggest cities, like London or Manchester, are not on the coast. This means that a lot of cable is needed to connect power stations to homes. In fact, if we have a look at an energy flow map, we will see how there is a net flow of electricity from Scotland and the north of England to the south of England, as there are more stations in the north of the UK. We've seen that getting electricity to our homes, businesses and schools is complex. Decisions need to be made about how and where we generate electricity and how we get the electricity from power stations to homes. That is what this debate is about. Enjoy!